Hawaii, and I'm being joined now courtside by Lisa Ebersole from Spalding. Now, I, I hope that I'm getting this correct here. Marketing manager with Spalding Net Systems? Yes. All right, fantastic. Um, this is great, this event. I imagine that your reaction to this crowd and to the interest here is, is sort of on the same level as us. Like, wow. Yeah, this is insane. These guys can jump and, oh my gosh, put the ball down. <laughs> Talk about the relationship between Spalding and First Point Volleyball Foundation and, and what the motivation behind creating this relationship for this particular event was. Yeah, we really like uh, what First, First Point is doing um, for the growth of the sport. And we really just wanted to be a part of that and show our support within um, the volleyball market. Yeah, because Spalding is obviously a household name. I, I think obviously everyone will think about basketball and the influence that Spalding has had on that sport. But volleyball has been a, a new horizon, if you will. What has been behind that effort? Yeah, well, I mean, it's the same as what we do on the court for um, the NBA and the, you know, the NCAA Final Fours. It's making the same exact equipment with the same standards and, in, and intent as we do on the basketball side. Just quality product that withstands the play that the athletes need. What do you see as far as the future here, the direction that Spalding in association with First Point and really boys and men's volleyball, where it can go? Oh, it can go as far as we want it to go. It's just what the clubs and the coaches want to put into it. Well, we cannot thank you enough for Spalding's involvement here, uh, providing uh, all of this sort of foundation to have an event like this in the state of Texas, which is unprecedented. So thank you, Lisa, very much for your involvement and your efforts. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. Take care, Lisa.